I, Anthony John Abbott, do swear that I will well and truly serve the people of Australia in the office of Prime Minister, and that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Australia. So help me God. Tony Abbott being sworn in by a female Governor-General and swearing allegiance to a British Queen. But he's already faced criticism for the male makeup of his government. Just one woman among the 19 cabinet members being sworn in today. The media has focused in on the issue, but Tony Abbott appears keen not to be distracted and has promised to lead a government of action. We are determined to honour our commitments to scrap the carbon tax, to stop the boats, to get the budget under control and to build the roads of the 21st century. We will be a problem-solving government based on values, not ideology. Tony Abbott has said stopping the boats will be a stand or fall issue for him. He's appointed the Deputy Chief of the Army to lead Operation Sovereign Borders to try and stop the thousands of asylum seekers trying to reach Australia's shores. But how it's going to be achieved is not completely clear. And Mr Abbott's pledge to quickly reverse Labour's carbon tax, which makes the country's biggest polluters pay for the amount of greenhouse gases they produce, may also face difficulty. His governing coalition has a majority in Australia's lower house of representatives, but it has no such majority in the Senate, where approval is also required to pass laws. Tony Abbott and his new government clearly saw their election victory as a mandate for change. The next few years, we'll see what they can deliver. John Donison, BBC News, Sydney.